welcome back to another lip balm review. Yeah, I, <laughs> you guys are gonna think I'm a total puss for just how bundled up I am, even though I'm in California. But to us, you know what? 50 degrees out is cold, so yeah, I'm in the house, heaters on, and I'm still in a quilted coat. Don't mind me. So anyway, it got down to like 39 last night. That is just, ugh, ugh, we don't talk of that. <laughs> anyway, so. Today, I'm going to be reviewing another Buzzle Bomb. This one is Shelly's Sangria, and I'm going to be 100% honest that I won't be able to say for 100% certain if this smells authentic to Sangria because I have never had Sangria. I only have the loosest of understandings of what Sangria is. To be fair, one of my best friend's favorite alcoholic drink is Sangria, so I know a little bit of what it's like from her. Uh, she says that they sell it in, like, a pitcher at a time, and it's kind of like boozy fruit punch, and that different people make it with different fruits in it, so it's kind of up for interpretation, so I really don't know what to expect here, so I'm going into it with an open mind. So, anyway, uh, let's get right into it. Format-wise, obviously, it's a stick, and packaging-wise, it's like most of the Buzzle Bombs, with we've got our logo, and the name, and then the individual print, they all have a different design and color scheme. So this one is very interesting. I like the like cranberry red of the cap and the label, just saying. I'm gonna go ahead and break that safety seal and peel it off of the cap. Okay, and the wax is just white. This looks like a drier one, so hopefully it's not gonna be a really hard one or anything. Ooh, it does smell good though. So anyway, it is natural and organic, not synthetic. In case this is your first Buzzle Bomb review, an introduction, as you will, or if you will. Ingredients list is sweet almond oil, uh, beeswax, sunflower seed oil, shea butter, coconut oil, and stevia leaf extract, plus natural flavors and vitamin E. And that's it. So, I don't believe this one's limited edition. I think this one's sold year-round. I bought it over the summer, but I'm just now opening it up. Um, the amount of product is 0.15 ounces, standard stick amount. Price on these, oh gosh, why do I never think to check right before I make the video? I want to say they're somewhere in the $3 range each. Double check puzzlebomb.com, but I just, yeah, I really need to get better about checking that before I start recording. Uh, anyways, sturdiness-wise, no wiggly turn wheel, so no complaints. Cap's a little loose, not gonna lie. That that could be done better, but I really like the color of it, but it doesn't stay on very well. It does make a click sound, but it just, yeah, that's one point against it already right there. Um, hold on just a minute. My dog is sniffing around. I don't want to ever ask. It. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Ooh, I'm even colder than I was before. I'd go outside. Oh, don't like it. Anyway, while I was up, I went ahead and checked the pricing on these, and it's three forty nine each. So there you go. Now you know. So anyways, um... Where did we leave off? Oh yeah, I was talking about the cap. So there's no special features like SPF or medication. Hi, I caught it. It's not a full drop. Uh, so we're gonna see the scent. Well, I guess we're gonna smell the scent, not see it. We'll see about it. I'm really not sure how to describe that. It smells really good, don't get me wrong. Um, it's just a very unique scent. It's very fruity, but there's almost like a floralness to it as well. Like, honestly, what this scent reminds me the most of is like sweet pea, of all things. I'm like, huh, interesting. Like I said, it doesn't smell bad. It actually smells really good. I'm just like, what is that? It smells really familiar. So it's like, honestly? I smell like berries, sweet pea, or maybe peony, one of those two, they're kind of similar. The tiniest hint of maybe lemon, but beyond that I can't really nail anything down, it just smells really good. It's a bit perfumey, hopefully it doesn't taste like perfume, but it smells really good though. So let's try it on. Yeah, it's one of the dry ones, darn. Okay. Okay. Once you get it going, it's fine. Mm. 
Like, honestly, if the scent were, like, a soap, I would buy that. It smells really good. And as I'm using it, the lemon is getting heavier in it. There's also, like, almost a little hint of watermelon. Again, it just smells really interesting and good. Yeah, now that it's gone, it's perfectly fine. Good, good, good. Okay. So let's evaluate. Ooh, it has a flavor. There's definitely lemon. I taste the lemon. Okay. It's a sweet lemon, though. I like that. Hmm. And almost like a cotton candy flavor, too, with the lemon. Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna complain there. I guess sangria is just very sweet. I don't know. Like I said, I've never had it, so I don't know. But, um, thickness-wise, it's in between thin to medium, but leaning a little more towards thin. But the consistency is very, very slick. Very smooth. Not at all waxy. Not at all sticky. It's a little greasy and oily, but I mean, you know, it's all natural. It's gonna be, um, because it's mostly made up of oils, so that comes with the territory. But it feels really good, though. And this one does feel like it'll do, like, an excellent job moisturizing. Just for the record, I've basically been using the cranberry apple, or not cranberry apple, the cranberry orange one nonstop since I reviewed it. Even more than this guy here. That is how much I'm enjoying that one, and I think this one's quickly going to... Get just as much use. I mean, that one, like, you can already tell through the tube. It's, like, down to here already. I was like, dang, I'm using that a lot. <laughs> anyway, um, you can see it has quite a good deal of shine on it, which I also really like. I like high-glossy ones. I realize some guys aren't so fond of that, and some girls as well, but I really like high-glossy ones. Um, let me think. Drink test. I will do the drink test. I don't know. It may or may not pass it. There's one spot I'm trying to tell it might be starting to thin. But it doesn't feel like it's budged since I said that, so... Verdict's out. I'm going to lean in the favor of yes, though, rather than no. And I would say it definitely has the wow factor. It smells super duper good. So, what will I rate it? Well, it does get Dr. Point because of that loose cap, unfortunately. I would love to have given this a perfect rating, but that that, that is a problem for me. Um, but other than that, I think that was my only issue. So, I'm going to go ahead and give this a 9 out of 10. It's really nice. And even though I can't quite nail down everything in that scent, it's just multifaceted and interesting and just I'm gonna smell it again it just smells really good and very sweet so if you like sweet scents that are both fruity and floral at the same time I think you'll like this one it's just very unique I definitely don't have anything out of my entire lip balm collection that smells just like this so this is super super original I like it a lot I would highly recommend it so Anyway guys, that's about all I have to say for this one, so as usual, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, become part of the notification squad, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Do any of you guys have this one? If so, what are your thoughts on it? And if you've ever had sangria, what exactly does it taste like? What goes into it? I'm just kind of curious, because I know there's different variations, so just let me know. <laughs> and as well as anything else you feel like leaving me. And as usual, if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, which would be fabulous, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. And if you donate, you will get your name on the leaderboard at the end of every video for, like, the current month that you donate in. That is true of any point of which you donate. Just saying. So anyway, guys, until next time, bye!